on the evening of Thursday, October 6th. The ladies of the class of 2023 took on the class of 2024 in the annual Powder Puff game at Dragon Stadium. The game was scoreless until the juniors punted to the seniors. With 8.06 left in the first, quarterback Chloe Wiegers is in shotgun. She takes the snap, hands off to Audrey Llewellyn, and she is gone. 75 yards into the end zone for the first score of the game. The extra point was good, and the seniors are on top, 7-0. With just 50 seconds left in the first half, the seniors are at the juniors' 35-yard line with a first and 10. Leaguers is in shotgun. She launches a perfectly thrown pass into the hands of Maddie Ebert at the 10, and she goes in for the score. The extra point was good, 14-0 at the half. That's when the sky opened up and the players and fans got soaked, but everyone seemed to be having too much of a good time to care, and the game resumed with the second half. The juniors lined up to kick off to the seniors. Bella Spears fields the kickoff inside the 20. She goes right, evades tacklers, and turns on the Jets. Touchdown, seniors. The extra point was no good, but the seniors take a commanding lead, 20-0. Later, with 4.08 left in the third, the seniors have a first and 10 at the 40-yard line. Number 42, Avery Case, brings down a high snap and takes off running. She finds the end zone and the seniors are running away with it. The PAT was good and the seniors extend their lead 27-0. Let's go to the fourth. The juniors are moving the ball and have a first and 10 at the 30. Number 13, Alexandra Fouts takes the snap and goes in for the touchdown. The juniors avoid the shutout and are finally on the scoreboard. The PAT was good, and that's how the game would end. The final 27-7 seniors. Twenty-four hours later, the three and three Lake Orion Dragons took to the field to host the four and two Clarkston Wolves for the homecoming game. Lake Orion kicked off to Clarkston and they began their first drive from their own 20. On second and eight, quarterback Mike Hine hands off to senior Ethan Clark who finds a hole and goes 78 yards untouched into the end zone. And just like that, the Wolves are up 7-0 following the length and extra point. With 8.25 left in the first, the Dragons field a punt and begin a drive at midfield. On first and 10 at the 53, quarterback T.R. Hill pitches it to junior Ray Payne who goes right and is taken down on the 26 for a 27-yard gain. On second and 10 at the 23, Hill takes the snap, jukes the defender and goes up the middle for the touchdown. Hoffman's PAT was good and the score is tied 7-7 with 7.36 left in the first. Following the kickoff, Clarkston begins a drive at their own 20. With Hine and shotgun, he takes the snap and botches the handoff. Senior Patrick Rowland scoops it up and takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Dragons. With seven and a half left in the first quarter, the Dragons are on top, 14-7. On the following drive, Clarkson moves the ball down the field and on third and 10 from the 15, Hine hands off to Clark. He fakes the reverse, weaves his way past his blockers and reaches the end zone for his second score of the game. The score is tied 14-14 with 2.53 left in the first. <laughs> Following a Lake Orion punt, the Wolves begin a drive on their own 43. On third and seven from the Dragons 27, Clark takes the handoff and is tackled on the one yard line. On the next play, Hine keeps it and goes right untouched into the end zone. The PAT was good and the Wolves are back on top, 21-14, with 11-22 left in the second quarter. Following another Lake Orion punt, Clarkston begins a drive from their own 40. Clark takes the direct snap, pitches it to quarterback Hine, and he goes deep to a wide open Cole Jarvis. A hustling Joey Bruno makes a TD saving tackle, but Two plays later on second and goal, number five, Desmond Steven bowls his way into the end zone with Clark clearing the way with a block. The PAT was good and the Wolves were up two scores with 7.48 left in the first half. Following the kickoff, the Dragons begin to drive on their own 27. A holding call moves the ball back to the 15. Then T.R. Hill takes the snap, cuts left, follows the blockers and streaks down the sideline 
they can't catch it. And it's 85 yards into the end zone to close the gap. 28-21 with 7.16 left in the second. Then with 3.26 left in the half, Clarkston has the ball on Lake Orion's 46, facing a second and nine. Hine throws a screen and it is picked off by junior Caden to Fraffenreed. He takes it to the house for a 54-yard pick six. The PAT ties it up at 28. What a game! But before the half can end, Clarkston quarterback Hine gives his team great field position on a 45-yard run. And on second and goal with the clock ticking, Clark goes up the middle and scores. The Wolves regain the lead, 35-28 at the half. At halftime, student advisor Lori Hogan introduced the homecoming court to the crowd. Last year's king and queen, Jackson Ben and Paige Walker returned to Dragon Stadium to crown the 2022 king and queen. Ladies and gentlemen, please get your cameras ready. Jackson, will you please crown King Nick News? And Paige, will you do us the honors and please crown the homecoming queen, Grace Sullivan? Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to all of our participants and their honors and families. We are proud to call you all Dragons, and we're proud that you represent us as a community in school. We're thankful for all the pride you've given us and the joy you bring. Again, a warm round of applause for all of our 2022 Homecoming Court members and their families. Let's get back to the action. In the fourth quarter, the Dragons find themselves backed up against their own end zone. Hill is under center. He takes the snap and drops back to pass, but is wrapped up and sacked in the end zone for a safety. 37-28, Clarkston. On the next drive, Clarkston is facing a third and six at Lake Orange 42, when Clark takes the ball all the way to the 12-yard line. On the next play, Clark lunges for the end zone to extend Clarkston's lead, 43 to 28. Then a successful two-point conversion gives the Wolves a 45-28 lead. With 4-11 left in the game, the Dragons are facing second and 21 from Clarkston's 26 when T.R. Hill lofts a perfect pass into the waiting hands of older brother Dorian Hill. Touchdown, Lake Horry. The PAT pulls the Dragons to within 10. 45-35. With 126 left in the game on first and 10 from the 26, Hill hits number 11 Dominic Novak and he is taken down at the two. On the next play, Billy Roberson goes in for the score to close the gap. The PAT was no good and the Dragons are down by four points. The Dragons line up again for another onside kick. The ball bounces off a Clarkson player and the Dragons fall on it. They still have a chance to win this thing, but with 47 seconds left, the Dragons have a third and seven at midfield. The snap is mishandled and the Wolves recover. Game over, the final 45-42 Clarkston. What a finish. We caught up with head coach Chris Bell after the game. We played hard. I don't know, well might be, in my eyes, might be exaggerated a little bit. The, We've got to clean up our own mistakes, you know. From uh, you know our you know drive down the start of the second half, we fumble the ball down here. We had one drive where we first you know Billy rips off eight yards, and then we go penalty, penalty, and then there was miscommunication. We ran the wrong play, and now we're back in third and long. So those are our, those are mistakes on us. And then you come down to the last play of the game. I mean, we got DJ running the wheel down the sidelines, wide open, and we fumble a snap. And, you know, we were literally one pass completion away from this, this place going bananas. Yeah. And, you know, not credit to, you know, they kept us in it. We had two defensive scores, which yep. were huge. Mm -hmm. Will Hoffman did a great job. And our onside kick teams, our special teams were huge. Yes. So everything came together. So I'm proud of them. They fought. They mm -hmm. went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They, you know, but we tell the guys there's no moral victories here. Yeah. We expect to win these games. And they, they, it's, they, they, for them, the growth has to be they expect to win them. And I think they do. They're, they're generally disappointed that, damn it, we had them. The Dragons have two games left in the regular season. They travel to North Farmington on October 14th to take on the Raiders, then return home on October 21st to host the Celine Hornets in a non-league matchup. 
from Dragon Stadium. This is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV Sports.